the federal government delegation led by the Minister of State for Defense, Belo Matawale, accompanied by the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has visited victims of Sunday night drone strike by the Nigerian Army. Matawale, while expressing condolences of the federal government to the families of the bereaved, affirmed the government's unwavering commitment to combating terrorism. He also assured of the government's full support for the over 70 injured victims undergoing medical treatment at the Barao Diko Teaching Hospital in Kaduna. The minister describes the incident as an unfortunate one, adding that the Ministry of Defense will take care of the medical bills of the victims. Continue fighting the criminals till we succeeded on fighting against banditry and other criminalities in this country. Therefore, it is just an unfortunate incident that happens and God has already destined that this will happen and it has happened. All we will do is to pray for the deceased who already gone for Allah's one water Allah to bless them with and then to put down and for those in the hospital to have a great recovery. Let's cross live to Kaduna and speak to our correspondent, Nisi Gabriel, who has been following this story. Hi, Nisi. Thank you for joining us on this night. Uh, speak to us about the, uh, the condition and the mood uh, of the families of uh, the uh, uh, victims when the federal government delegation paid a visit to them. Speak to us about uh, what you saw, your findings. Yes, uh, as rightly pointed out, a federal government delegation led by the Chief of State for Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff, and all the lawmakers, and also the Chief of Army Staff. We are the hospital, the Barao Diko Teaching Hospital here in Cardinal, to visit victims, hospitalized victims, and also to commiserate with them. Well, what I saw, the victims are in a dire situation, and the hospital seems, the accident and emergency unit of the hospital seems overwhelmed with victims. And we spoke with the medical chief who gave us an update as regards the number of victims currently in the medical facility. So as of today, being Tuesday, he told us that 70 injured persons are currently in the medical facility. And he also did tell us that in no distant time, those who are recuperated, those who they feel uh, much better than they were before, will be released to their relatives. And uh, that's what the state of how we met since there at the Baraudico Teaching Hospital. However, the federal government delegation did say that they are going to compensate the victims. They are going to provide help in any way they can. And the army chief did also say that the action, the accidental airstrike is regrettable. And uh, the are taking full responsibility for what has happened and it's so bad but they say they are going to make up for it but the question now on the minds of many is that can they really make up for the number of human lives that have been lost right okay um thank you so much nisi if you can hear me uh that's it with nisi our correspondent there in kaduna